Hello everyone and welcome to my new video and what is this video about? Well, it's going to be about live looping. You know that thing that people do, it's really cool, you know, they just hit go and then they start making a piece of music and layering it up and mixing it all in and out and stuff and it's really cool, you know, they're really on the money with it and it's really tight and funky and, um, and sometimes a little bit beautiful and quite pure, it's quite a pure form of electronic music performance you know the thing that i mean loads of really talented people do it and it's really awesome um that is not what i'm going to do no i'm actually going to make a mad cacophonous row using loopers if you're familiar with this experimental youtube channel you know that i like to find uh, ways to generate ideas that are playful and exciting and unpredictable but also in real time so this won't be a video about live looping in a performance context i'm not going to go all mark ribelay on you or whatever um that's a whole different thing um it will be more about live looping in a creative context um you know about using the the idea of looping to find things that maybe you can use uh, later on or might maybe set something off in your imagination that makes you want to go and make a, a more solid um, piece of music plus I like to play about in Ableton in ways that's a bit weird you know only just this week a patron of mine introduced me to a technique um, that in my nearly two decades of using the software I didn't know about although the device I'll be using I think was introduced maybe in version five or six or something um I don't know, but regardless, naturally I had to get into it and find a way to make it fit into how I like to do things, i.e. make noise and grab it, you know? So as far as I know, this should be possible in any version of live dating back to when the looper device was first introduced. Um, however, I can't be certain, but I am certain that you can do this in earlier versions of live than the version that I am using, which is Live 11. If this isn't news to you and you've been doing this for years, then fair play. I wish I'd known about it a long time ago, but I'm still happy to have only just been informed about it now. I had a go on it last night and hours vanished. I went into all kinds of wonderful places with sound. It was great. So with that, I should warn you that this video could turn into a mad noise jam and I may zone out while shooting it because it really is loads of fun. I'm not planning to make any actual music with this, more just to find ideas that I can use later or that you can use later. Um, so this is going to go way, 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 way avant-garde. In fact, it's going to go so, 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 so far into the avant-garde. It won't even be avant-garde anymore. It'll be more like savant hard. <laughs> the thing that I enjoy uh, most about this idea is that it's a fun way to perpetually live in the moment whilst making sounds, you know, because carpe diem, motherfucker. If this is your first time watching a video on this channel, then I think you should know that I don't edit much and I try and do it all in one take because this is Ableton Live. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the looper device, but rather than use it in perhaps the more familiar sense of looping directly into it, I'm actually going to loop, if you will, indirectly into it. So what do I mean by that? So I'm going to get a looper, I'm going to put it on this track, and I'm going to rename this track looper. And what I'm going to do is um, put some sound into it, but then I'm going to process that sound through another track and then loop it back into the track, um, which is really, really, really interesting. So I'm going to create a second track here and I'm going to rename this track insert and I'm going to go to the audio from and I'm going to choose the looper track, which is the one which has the looper on it. And then I'm gonna to go to this drop down menu, I'm gonna go insert looper, see that? Very interesting, very interesting stuff. And then for the audio two, I'm gonna to go to looper again, and I'm going to choose insert looper. Can you see what's going on here? So essentially what we've done here is we've created an insert track for this looper. We're gonna be able to poke into the loop data and process it and then loop it back into itself. It's very weird and very interesting. Let me just check that I've put a limiter on my master here because this is going to get noisy and I don't want to blow up the entire universe. So this is a little bit difficult for me to demonstrate visually because I'm going to have to keep bouncing between these two tracks. Um, and I don't really want to keep bouncing between these two tracks in order to activate the looper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the loop button to a key on my keyboard. So I'm going to hit Command K. I'm going to click that looper and I'm going to, the looper button, and I'm going to hit L. So now whenever I hit L for loop, see what I did there? I know that I'm going to be now looping into uh, the looper. I'm going to hit Command K, turn that off. A couple of things I need to sort out. I need to um, set the 
monitor in, I think, on the insert channel to in. And I also need to make sure that when I record that it actually goes to play because I want to hit loop and then know that I'm looping and then hit it again and know that I'm not and it's just playing. So this, I think, is all we're going to need. So I'm going to go on a mad fucking journey now. <laughs> I had to go on this last night and I was lost for hours in sound. It was It was just really great. I was just pulling things in, dropping in effects, adding a little bit of a things to things and then looping it back and it was loads of fun. I had, I had a great time. So I'm going to do that now. I'm not going to make any music. I'm just going to make some noise. So I'm going to pull in the vinyl distortion here and uh, ping that up. The transport is off. Let's just reset the transport. So yeah, the looper will, when I start looping and stop, it will set the transport I'm not really too concerned about that because I'm not going to do any beats or music or anything. I'm just going to make some noise. So let's loop this vinyl crackle into the looper. Okay, so if we turn that down, we can hear that we've looped that. I'm going to delete that now. So you can see, if you look at the meters, you can actually see that there's signal coming in on both, both channels. Why is that? Well, that's because the looper is sending its loop signal out to this track which is being monitored in and then going back to the looper. It's crazy. So I can get like um, some stuff here. Uh, I can pull in the resonator and maybe, can you hear how already that's a little bit musical? Cause it's looping. Repetition is music, yo. Yeah. Okay, so why don't I just loop that onto the looper. You won't be able to see me do it because immediately after I've done it, I need to kill this audio effect so that I don't, you know, over loop. Okay, so trust me, I'm looping into this. So I'm gonna hit L and loop that. So you can hear there that, you can hear how it got the little, the little double loop at the end. So now we're looping that loop back into the loop. <laughs> it's fun. We can reverse it. Okay, why don't we put some reverb on that reverse loop? Okay, let's loop that. Yeah. And now let's reverse that and we'll have the old reversey reverb thing. So already you can hear that you can get some very, very interesting soundscape concepts going like very quickly. And then if you like what you've done, let's just drag that. Let's just drag that clip onto a new. Um, so there's that. Look. Gosh, it's very quiet. OK, maybe we can do something about that. Why don't we? Um, gosh, that's really quiet. OK, so why don't we maybe put a compressor Let's go nuts with the compressor. Let's get the ODT, OTT in. Whoa. And now let's loop that back into the looper with that compression on. Whoa. Oh my God. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Yeah, let's drag that in as well. Let's just put that there. Okay. So you can see it's a bit louder. Okay. Okay, all right. Now this is already getting boring. So um, okay, let's get the let's get the auto pan in there, and let's maybe go for a sixteenth note kind of flutter. Yeah, let's loop that. There we go. Delete that. So you can see we're just dropping things in and running the loop through them, and then you know fucking them off, and then we've got like a little loop. It's cool. It's fun. Just gonna have a quick drink to celebrate this. Okay, maybe I can sort of get creative with the filters here and maybe try and make some sort of, I don't know, like a kick drum or something. So I'm going to drop the auto filter in there. Let's turn it, turn it down a little bit on the mixer. There we go. So I'm going to, I'm going to group this filter and I'm going to create another chain that's just dry. Let's mute the dry chain for a minute and concentrate on this. Okay, actually, let's um, let's put the drum buffs. Let's put the drum buffs after that. 
and I'm going to use a down ramp LFO. And I'm going to use the this to overdrive. The, whoa, yeah. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Okay, let's loop that. Oh, <laughs> what have I done? Okay, let's delete that. Oh, it's a bit clicky, but that's because I wasn't really thinking properly about it. Oh, it's nasty. That's... Gosh, that's nasty. <laughs> okay, all right. That's all right. Let's keep going. We're going on a journey. We're going on a journey into space, man. Cosmic. Let's get the let's get the grain delay in. See what we can do with this. So let's uh, turn the sync off. Set the time really low. Let's pull the dry weight down a little bit. Bit of feedback. Up a bit in pitch. Loop that. Delete, delete the stuff. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, I'm gonna drag that into there. That's an interesting. Oh, look at these beautiful shapes here. Lovely. Okay, so, gosh, where do we go from here? Um, let's go down half the speed. Spectral time in. Turn that delay off. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay, let's double the loop time so that we can record a longer phrase. Okay, I'm going to hit loop now. Delete that. So we let's go back to normal speed. Very interesting. Let's get the vocoder in. Let's put the vocoder in. Let's just make loads of weird noise. Yeah, this is fun. Okay, let's group that. And then I'm going to do the thing I did earlier. I'm going to create a dry chain. So I think dynamic processing is important when you're doing these kinds of experiments. That's why I put the limiter on the master. It's really loud. Goodness me. Come down a little bit more on the mixer. Okay, let's loop that. Drag it, drag it. I like it. Let's just make a big collection of weird loops. Okay. So I'm... Let's turn that down a little bit more. So, you know, it's normally around about this point that I would hit stop and uh, say something. But uh, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to leave it purring away in the background whilst I say what I was going to say. So this could be also really good with um, effects that have a momentary function. So if you've got like, um, you know, your favorite like glitch plugin, let's pull in glitch. Where's glitch? Let's pull the glitch plugin in. And that's obviously going to start. So yeah, my version, uh, I've made a default so that it's empty. So, but we could just hit random here, like. So we can we can now loop that. <laughs> okay, let's delete that. So you can hear how I kind of <laughs> just recorded that, but. <laughs> okay. So other things that we could try, uh, you know, like, um, why is that there? Show me full screen, please. 
There we go. Um, we could try other things like tornado. Where's tornado? Let's put tornado in on this insert here. Maybe do some fun stuff with tornado. Yeah, I've just recorded that little tornado turn into the looper. But um, it's all starting to sound like it's going to fall apart, which, uh, you know, my aesthetic is that I quite like falling apart. <laughs> but that's not, uh, you know, you can't do that for too long. You've got to bring everything back to normality at some point. So why don't we try again with the uh, with the resonator or the, or the spectral resonator? Let's try this. Okay, let's loop that. Okay, so we've just looped that. Let's go for a different note here. Let's make a harmony. Let's go for like G up here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna like hit loop and then play around with this to sort of fade in and out. Just recorded that in there. Lovely. Let's go a bit higher. Let's go for a... Yeah. Let's do the same thing again. So, yeah, this is obviously um, very weird and abstract um, because I only just came up with... I only just realised this. Uh, yesterday and I haven't really given it enough time to turn it into something that's going to blow everyone's minds but that's not really my intention it's, it's, I don't want to blow people's minds I just want to tickle them tickle your mind <laughs> okay let's just uh, let's put the redux in there And like that, it's gone, because we've just looped that back into the looper. What else could we use? Corpus. Let's put Corpus in there. Oh my god, Corpus is so aggressive. Let's go for, like, uh, the plates, maybe. Okay, let's loop that. But very quickly, you have to um, trash it. This is why I kind of thought that, like, using um, a, a plugin or some sort of uh, effects chain or rack or whatever, or any kind of like thing that you want to use, maybe even like an out piece of outboard or something, is that you need to be able to sort of just very quickly turn the processes on and off because otherwise you'll very quickly start looping them back into themselves. Maybe that's what you want to do. I don't know. Why don't we put like a looper in there? Let's put another looper and then loop the looper inside the looper and loop it back into itself. <laughs> the world's gone mad. <laughs> Well, that was terrible, wasn't it? Okay, uh, let's... <laughs> Where do we go from here? What have I just done? Okay, let's put some erosion on there. Yeah, I've definitely, definitely ruined that. Okay, so let's maybe bring it back to something that's a little bit more sensible. Maybe we can do like a, a 16th note wobble. Yeah, I'm going to loop that now. Oh, I didn't loop all of Oh my goodness me. <laughs> 
I'll try a little bit more. Need to leave it looping for longer. We just keep looping it forever. So we've just got a wub. Perpetual wub. Okay. Okay, so now we've got something. <laughs> this is all one take, right? Okay, I know it's not the most groundbreaking piece of music ever, but like the potential is strong if you're into live looping. Uh, what could we do with this? Um, gosh, it's very, very heavy in the low end. Well, why don't we filter it again, but use a high pass? Okay, let's loop that. Delete that, and maybe um, bring a bit of the echo, echo it up a little bit. Okay, that's getting a bit much. Goodbye. A little bit of reverb, maybe. Let's screw around with some reverb. Interesting. All right, I'm going to pull in some net effects now. Let's pull in, um, let's maybe pull in the lucky roll and loop a bit of the lucky roll. Yeah, let's loop that. been looped in there. Let's maybe do the lucky space. Yeah. Let's loop that. Okay. Delete that. Hours of fun, hours of fun. I mean, it's going to take a lot of preparation to take this idea and use it in a way that could be like a little bit more m musically gratifying in a more pedestrian sense. I'm not too concerned with those things. I'm happy just twiddling about and knobbing out. Uh, what could we do here? Phaser flanger. Okay, let's loop a little bit of that. So, you know, I don't particularly like that idea, <laughs> but if I did, I can very quickly just drag it in there and then I've got a little kind of like weird loop of stuff. Let's put the, uh, let's go back into the insert. Let's put the vocoder on there. Just turn it into a load of smushy noise. Okay. Whoa there. Wow, oh my God. Okay. Filter it up. I never use this filter delay. Is it good? It's not been touched it's probably since version one. Okay, let's leave that. Whoa, okay. So yeah, you've got to remember to you've got to remember to quickly 
either delete or kill whatever signal process you're doing whilst it's in the insert of the looper because it can very quickly escalate and we all know that can be problematic. So... What else can we play around with? What haven't I done yet? Uh, the frequency shifter. Yeah, just recorded that into there. <laughs> it's really good fun. I really like it. Let's try the beat repeat. Let's put the beat repeat in here. Recorded a little beat repeaty bit. Again, maybe with the uh, with the auto pan. Yep, that's fine. Delete. Let's try tornado. Where's tornado? Uh, did I do tornado already? I can't remember. Oh, my memory's terrible. Um, oh yeah, I did this earlier, didn't I? With Maybe do that. We can maybe use like uh, some musical scales here in Tornado. Let's go for uh, gosh, look at all these scales. Let's go for uh, the melodic minor, and then let's root. Um, oh, and you as well, melodic minor, and then let's root the LFO to the note. Let's say random step. Is that doing it? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's loop this. Whoa. There we go. Just loop that. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'm going to put my... Um, I've got my lucky kick somewhere. I've been working on this thing called the lucky kick. Where is it? Where would that be? And effects, lucky, lucky kick. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put this before the looper. This is just like a sort of generative kick drum thing I've been making. Which works similarly to the uh, luck to the net effects lucky things. You know, it just kind of gives you like random kicks bit of drive here okay gonna loop a bit of that okay and I got a snare as well. I got this lucky snare. I'm kind of working on it. You know, it's not really there yet, but it's. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's not re really that great, but like, you know. Um, let's compress it like an idiot. And then resample it through the compression. This is this is this is silly music. Let's give it a little bit of reverb here. Okay, that's loud. That is loud. Okay, let's loop that with the reverb on. Okay, let's pull in uh, the lucky scratch. Where's the lucky scratch? So maybe do like a couple of 16th notes here. Okay, I'm just going to loop a little bit of that. Actually, let's maybe make this twice as long. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Bit of a lucky pitch, maybe. There we go, just looped that. absolutely going to stop there so okay there you go go away and try that yourself i had loads of fun and the, the potential here is just ridiculous because you could have an, a ridiculous amount of tracks a ridiculous amount of loopers and i don't know how many i mean could i even duplicate that so i could actually have two tracks going into um that looper uh you know it it's it's pretty pretty good and i'm very excited to this is what i love about my patreon community and ableton live is that even after all of this time i'm still finding out like these things that just send me down these rabbit holes i, th I think i know this piece of software until someone says oh yeah but do you know about this and i'm like oh my god i don't know it at all so this was a great find and uh, i really encourage you to go and have a go at that and um, again if this isn't news to you and you've been doing this for years and years and years, perhaps since the looper was first introduced, then um, I'd love to hear about ways that you're using it because I think it's such a cool thing. And um, I don't really think there's much that I could share on Patreon with this. <laughs> but nonetheless, I guess I'll go and put it on Patreon anyway so that the setup is there, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So thank you for watching. And if you would like to support me on Patreon where you can download this set plus all manner of other stuff to do with Ableton Live and Maxim SP and maybe a few other things along the way, then um, that would be great. There's some lovely people there all hanging out and uh, we're all great friends. And um, what else can I say? Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. Um, and click my link tree. My link tree is in the description. And uh, don't forget to do all that stuff. And uh, Okay, have a nice time making weird sounds in headphones in a dark room like me. <laughs> okay. Bye, everyone.